MS-127 and we are doing a project in our class about the topic health. So our, our topic will choose is passport and we would like to ask some question about that too. Okay. So our first question is what do you think about passport? Is it good for us or bad for us? Um, I don't think it's good for you. It's very unhealthy. It makes you gain weight. It's not bad for you. It's very bad for your heart. For uh, It raises your cholesterol. It also um, makes you very, very unproductive because, especially me, after I have fast food, it, it's very heavy. It makes me, like, it makes me want to go to sleep. So, I don't think it's very good for you. And the oil that they use in the fast food business, it's not good because they keep using the same oil um, like the whole day and it's burnt over time, which is poisonous for us. How does fast food affect us? Um, it makes us gain weight, it raises our cholesterol. Um, it can also block the arteries in our heart by making the cholesterol go high. So, yeah, that's basically it. Do you think we should uh, reduce the consumption of fast food in our community? Yeah, definitely. I think um, at your school you should encourage people to have more vegetables, more uh, fiber foods like whole wheat products, then fruits, non-processed. Uh, anything that's processed is not good for you. Fast foods are processed foods, so it's not good. Canned foods are not good for you. Sugar, soda, if people stop having all those things, there will be um, less amount of unhealthy and sick people. So you said about the oil, right? So people already know, that, like, why don't they, like, why do you think they don't say that to the McDonald's, like, Restaurant people that why do you use the same oil over and over if it makes unhealthy for us? Because um, fast foods are why do people have fast foods because first of all it's cheap and It's uh, quick. quick. Yeah, so if you want them to use oil every time like change it It's gonna be expensive for them. They don't want to do that. They want to reduce their costs but people know that, that it's unhealthy, like don't, don't they should do something about those? They should definitely tell the fast food companies to use new oil. I don't know why they don't do it. People should be more assertive about it. They should go and ask all the fast food companies to use new oil every time they fry um, french fries. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. And we're doing a project to us about health. And our topic that we chose is about possible to live. Do you think about fast food? Is it good for us or bad for us? Why is bad for us? Think about certain companies. They make all these foods and they put so many additive chemicals working in a pharmacy. That's one of the things you realize. There's a lot of chemicals that they use to make medicine that they're actually also, you know, you can derive the compound to make other things. So let's say, for example, McDonald's. You take one of their burgers and you leave it on your window shelf for about a week or so. It'll still be just like you just bought it from the wrapper. So for that reason, most fast foods, if it has more than, let's say, 10 ingredients, it's just bad for you in general. Forget fast food. Yeah, you have more than like 10 ingredients in general. It's just bad for you. Because natural things only have like a few ingredients depending on what it is. So that's how you know it. Something is supposed to decay. I don't know if you guys learned in science, shelf life, it shouldn't be around for so long. Okay, I'm so that's one of the reasons fast food is bad. Keep going because that mother is on last. Keep going, keep going. Um, obesity is number one. Uh, hormones, I, see, I don't know if you notice, you see a lot of kids these days, they're like maybe eight and nine and they have facial hair and all that stuff. When I was a teenager or a preteen, eight and nine, you didn't have any facial hair, none of that stuff. So, I guess the more hormones and stuff that they use for the animals to help grow them also, you know, affects you. Okay, uh, do you think 
we should reduce the consumption of fast food in our community? Definitely, yeah. If there's an alternative for it, then we should definitely try and get the alternative, depending on uh, if it's uh, fresh market food or if you act. It's also about how your family lifestyle is, if you have time for it and stuff like that. All right, no problem. Thank you. Thank you.